Welcome to this kickstart video on using the Karari to do sample application. The link to this readme is in the video description and I recommend that you follow along with this simple guide. Now the great thing about the Karate to do application is that it's a self-contained single project that has all the features of Karate demonstrated within it. So it's a great way for you to do trainings or demoing Karate to your teams. API testing, API performance testing, API mocks, and UI automation, all included. And it's very simple, yet it shows off most of the core features of Karate. And we're going to actually install Git, follow these steps, uh, install Java, set up your environment, and then we are ready to run tests. And we're going to do all of this on the command line, which is recommended when you're in a large team, collaborating with other developers. Uh, this is what you will be typically doing. And the command line, execution of tests is important because that's how you would run tests in CI, CD, continuous integration, okay? Now, to make this demo and guide really useful, this starts from scratch. I actually have a new fresh Windows machine over here, okay? And we are going to go through all these steps. So the first step is to install Git, and the link to where you can download Git is in the documentation. I'm just go, going to go over here and paste it onto this Windows machine. It's a Windows machine, so I'm going to choose the option for Windows for Git. Choosing the installer, which is convenient. And I'm kicking off the install process here. You can choose all the defaults. Uh, the defaults are fine. and. Yeah, it asks a lot of questions, but all the defaults are fine. And I'm going to pause the, win win the video while we complete this installation. Okay, recording is back. We're nearly done and excellent. So we don't want to view the release nodes. I'll finish and let's go to what's next, Java. Okay, I have copied the link. Let's go over here. And uh, Karate needs Java greater than 11, so keep that in mind. But we're going to choose the very latest, which is Java 20. Uh, make sure you go to the operating system applicable for you, Windows in our case. I will choose the MSI installer, just assuming that it's going to be simpler to install on Windows. Let me start the process of installing Java. Uh, doesn't ask you too many questions and I think it should happen pretty quickly yes Java is installed and one way to check whether Java is installed is you can open a command prompt I've typed CMD in to my Windows search bar and if you type Java okay hyphen version that's a great way to check. Yeah, Java 20 is installed. Awesome. So we are almost set. There's one more thing to do, which is the step of setting up your Java home. And I have linked to a very helpful page that explains how to do it for your operating system. And for Windows, if you search for advanced system settings, you should get to that place very quickly. I'm going to type advanced system. Yeah, and I immediately get this kind of familiar screen. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. We're going to add an environment variable which is called Java Home. And where is the Java Home? It should be if you've chosen the defaults in C, Program Files, Java. And under that, yeah, Java JDK 20 was installed. I'm going to actually click on the you know, address bar, copy it, and go back to this over here and we are setting the Java home. Say, okay, get out of this. You will need to reopen the command prompt to check whether Java home is set. One way to check whether the Java home is correctly set is to say echo like percentage on Windows. On Linux, I think it's a dollar and the variable name. We're going to say Java home end percentage and yes all looks good right so now um, the next thing we are going to do we actually 
set with the environment and we now need to get the source code okay git is installed so you should be able to type this command git clone so i'm going to actually copy that for convenience open a command prompt and we're going to use our documents folder so cd documents is a good place and now i say git clone yeah i should just paste what i just and yeah that was pretty quick and to just ensure that everything is in place if you go to your documents folder you should see karate to do and what came from git so we are nearly there um, now change into the folder cd karate to do okay and as per the documentation if you run this command okay mvnw clean test it's working java setup maven is kind of built into the project in a very nice way and we are actually running one of the karate tests in continuous integration mode and it worked right and in fact one of the last lines in the report you can highlight it and paste it i'm cutting it opening a browser and pasting it into the address bar and that is your very first karate report uh, it's really nice you can actually see all the requests that were made get post and so on you see very nice comments saying what a good functional api test should look like okay so that said you're all set to actually explore all the other tests read through the documentation and if you have visual studio code installed um you could open the karate to do folder and i have the karate plugin installed so you see that we have you know syntax coloring and so on let me go to the simple folder and open you know one of the other sample tests that's kind of built in this would run against the internet and you see how easy it is uh, to run karate test from the karate official plugin and you can see the report so that was it let's recap right we looked at the karate to do sample set up git set up java and an environment setting needed to be able to use java and maven and then we cloned our git project got the source code locally in a folder went to that folder and actually ran a karate test and we also as a bonus showed you how to open that same project in a in our ide and actually run tests from there as well okay uh, read the rest of the documentation there's a lot more you can do and all examples and we are coming up with more kickstart videos so stay tuned thank you